Malo Kim. Welcome, my name is George. I'm very glad to talk to you again. And to this time, this case, in this episode, I would like to teach you a couple of expressions in Mixtec, in Mixtec language, uh, which is known as Mixteco in Mexican Spanish. And uh, it's a language family. There are around 83 Mixtec languages. I have had the chance to, um, to learn one of them. And well, I would like to share with you a couple of ways to express emotions. So let's get it started. Uh, something that is very important about this language is that um, it shares a couple of similarities with some other Mesoamerican uh, languages, but in my opinion, it's one of the most difficult languages um, regarding the phonological system because there are very, very important sounds that you have to pronounce in order to make the right pronunciation. And well, let me just give you an example. Let's get started. All right, so first of all, we have um, the very, well, the very first question, which is nasa u inin. Nasa ku inin, which means, there you go which means, how do you feel? But let me give you something important. I mean, ini means heart. So it's like saying, how does your heart feel? Ku is the verb to feel. And as you can observe, we have um, a very particular ending, which means second singular person. So this is like saying, how feel heart your, okay? So it's like, how does your heart feel? How do you feel? Nasa ku inim, nasa ku inim. And then we have, you might say, for instance, kude ini, kude ini. Kude means sharp, like my heart is sharp, meaning I'm upset, I'm angry. Kude ini, kude ini. As you can observe in here, the ending, the last I represents the first singular person. Kude ini, kude ini. Then we have kudi ini. Kudi ini. Kudi meaning happy. And you know what ini means, like my heart. My heart is happy, meaning I'm fine. You can also, well, on, I mean, um, express like I'm happy, I mean, by saying kudi ini. Kudi ini. Then we have satu ini. Satu ini. Satu meaning um, burns, like my heart burns. Um, I don't know if I can say that word because uh, I don't know if YouTube might um, complain about the video, <laughs> but you know what it means, right? Like I'm very, very upset. Okay, like satu ini, satu ini. And okay, moving on, then we have Dini, dini, di meaning to become happy. Meaning in this case, like um, I'm glad or similar to I'm happy. Then we have kutini, kutini. Okay, uh, I'm using this symbol because I don't have in here this letter. This is like an extra I, but the pronunciation is uh, uh, uh. All right, so in here, this is like saying kutu ini, kutu ini. Kutu means um, to boil, like when you boil water. <clears throat> so it's like saying, my heart is boiling. Well, similar to, um, I mean, similar to satuini, 
and similar to good day me, all right? So this is a, a little bit stronger, I will say in this case. Okay, then we have, moving on, the, the, meaning i mean in the year means uh, to sleep like when when the floor uh, is full of water or is wet and if you walk uh, on that floor you might sleep all right so um meaning like my heart slips meaning i'm sad I'm sad. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have Sanini. Sani means to think. So Sanini, my heart thinks. In other words, my heart is, or I am concerned. I'm uh, preoccupied. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. Nasa kuinin, nasa kuinin, kudaini, kudaini, kudini, kudini, satuini, satuini, dini, dini, kudaini, kudaini, ndiyoini, ndiyoini, sanini. Sanini. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow the channels. I mean, don't forget to subscribe, especially so that you get uh, updates whenever there is a new video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next episode. Kanantabad.